let's try this problem now. It's, um, I guess, a more difficult uh, redox problem. It says chromium plating is applied by electrolysis to objects suspended in a dichromate solution according to the following unbalanced half reaction. So that's pictured up there. How long in hours would it take to apply chromium plating uh, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 millimeters thick to a car bumper with a surface area of 0 0.25 meters squared in an electrolytic cell carrying a current of 25.0 amperes. The density of chromium is 7.19 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so I think I've written all the pertinent information up here. I think the um, best thing to do, honestly, you can approach this problem from a number of different ways, uh, but I think the way I'm going to do it is to figure out the number of moles of chromium that we've got first, okay? So, um, how am I going to do that? Well, I've got an area of chromium and a height of chromium, so I can figure out what the volume of chromium is. Okay, and I'm going to do that in meters. I'm going to since this one's in millimeters, that one's in meters squared, I'm going to get the volume in meters cubed, okay? So, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 millimeters. Let's convert that to meters there, okay? So, 1 meter, 1,000 millimeters, okay? So, cancel, cancel, so that's in meters now, so let's now I'll just multiply 0 0.25 meters squared. That'll give me the volume of chromium in uh, meters. So
keep it to two sig bins here. So I get three point, or zero point three five. Moles of chromium. Okay. So does everybody follow me to there? Follow me to there. Uh, so I'm going to erase this, at least this top part here. And the next thing we're going to do, so like I said, we could have approached this problem from a number of different ways. Um, the other way we could do it, or the other way, um, would have been to start with balancing that half reaction. But now we're going to actually balance the half reaction in the second step. So you, like I said, you could have done it either way. Let's get rid of everything. All right, moles of chromium up there. So, number of moles of chromium is zero point three. Okay. So like it said, this reaction equation is actually unbalanced. So if you didn't catch that, you're not going to get this problem correct. Okay? So we've got to balance it. So how do we balance a reaction equation? Well, is this going to be a reduction or an oxidation? Can you guys tell? It's a reduction, yeah. Reduction, right? Why? Because there's a number of reasons, right? It's gaining electrons, that's probably the most obvious. But look at the chromium, it's losing oxygen, okay? So that's another way to check it out, okay? Reduction. Let's just write that down for fun. Okay, so how do we balance our half reaction? So we're going to first balance the non oxygen, non hydrogen atoms, okay? So that's chromium. We've got a two over here, none over here, so we're going to put a two there. Okay, so now we see, well, we've got seven oxygens over here and only one over here, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply that uh, water by seven, right? Okay, so we've got a seven there now. So we've got seven oxygens there, seven oxygens there. Now we've got 14 hydrogen here and only one Hydrogen on the other side, right? So we're going to have to add 13 more or multiply that by 14, right? So now we have 14 here, 14 here. Oxygens, oxygens are balanced, chromiums are balanced. The only thing that isn't balanced now is the what? The charges, right? The electrons. So what do we see? Well, we've got three negatives. Um, 14 positives and a zero over on this side, right? So we're going to have to add electrons to this side, right? So 12 minus, uh, or 14 minus 2 is going to be 12, right? So that's how many electrons we're going to add here. Okay, so if you want to re add it up, right? 12 negatives plus 2 negatives is 14 minus, right? And plus 14 plus, that's going to equal zero, which is what we have over here. Okay, we cool with that? Yeah, one. Okay, so now, everybody agree our reaction is now balanced, right? Yes. Okay. So, we can now figure out, well, what is the number of moles of electrons that have been transferred when 0.35 moles of chromium get transferred? Okay, so let's figure that out number of moles of electrons is going to be so, what do we got here? Sorry. Um, 0 0.35 moles chromium for every 2 moles chromium is 12 moles of electrons. So, 2.1 
balls of electrons. Well, so uh, what do we want to know now? Well, how much charge is associated with the, that number of electrons? Okay, so we've got to go back to uh, the charge per mole of electrons uh, um, conversion that I'll give you. So one mole of electrons equals 96 500 coulombs, like that. Remember also, we're going to be using this equation, I equals Q divided by T, okay? So amps, coulombs, divided by time. Um, and one coulomb equals one amp second, okay? So you're going to need to know all of that. So you should have memorized these two things if you don't know them. Okay. So um, what's the number of coulombs? So uh, the Q of this number of electrons is going to be one mole of electrons, 96, 5, 0, 0 coulombs. Cancel, cancel. So, 2.0 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 coulombs. Like that. Is everybody set with what we've done so far? Okay, wonderful. So, what are we looking for though? We're looking for time, right? So, let's rearrange this equation. So when we do that, let's just do it over here. So time is going to equal um, coulombs per amp, right? Like that. Okay. But this is going to come out in seconds because remember this over here. So we're going to come. We can convert it uh, right away, or we can convert it eventually. Whatever you guys want. So I'll just convert it right away, and we'll get it in seconds. Okay, so Q, 2.0 times 10 to the fifth coulombs. Um, and I, so 25.0 amps. And so remember, for every one amp second is one coulomb. Okay, so amps cancel, coulombs cancel, so we're going to end up with seconds there. Okay, so if you wanted to do it, well, let's do it in two steps, just to make it easier. For you guys, so divide that by 25, and we get 8,000 seconds, essentially 8,005 seconds. 0 0.0 times 10 to the third second, and then say for every hour, because we wanted an hour, remember, so they wanted an hour, cancel, cancel like that, so divide that by 3600, and to 2 sig figs, 2.2 .2 hours. So 2.2 .2 hours is the time that it's going to take you to plate your bumper with chrome. chrome. Any questions on that one? Good job, guys. This is a tough problem. <laughs>